You've been living under a rock if you're a Colorado mountain biker and you haven't heard of Rutabaga Ride. This trail is one of the most popular trails in the front range of Colorado because of its great flow and abundant, low consequence features. Nestled within Lair of the Bear Park, Rutabaga Ride is a downhill only mountain bike trail. It's really awesome to see parks implement these downhill only trails. They're safer for everyone, and there's still abundant hiking to do at Lair of the Bear, as well as abundant hiker only trails all around Colorado. When you arrive at Lair the Bear, you will be greeted by an absolute carnival of a parking lot. This place gets super crowded. Bikers love it, hikers love it, families love it for picnics. It's a popular spot. Road parking isn't too hard to find, and you can find the spot in the lot if you're patient and you wait a few minutes kind of trolling around. The first section of this trail is all flow. There are tons of optional features if you want to get a little gnarlier, but it's also possible to just keep your tires on the dirt the whole time. That's part of the appeal of this place. Many different skill levels can all ride here together. Rutabaga Ride is pretty much a classic blue. That means it has optional features if you want to make it harder, but for the most part, you just need to be a beginner to intermediate mountain bike rider to ride this trail. If you're a beginner and you're riding this trail, the hardest part of this trail will be the rock gardens. They are blue rock gardens, but they'll push you if you're a beginner, like I said. The other part that people sometimes struggle with is just keeping your front tire kind of gripped on the dirt. It's kind of easy to wash the tire out in these berms. If you're struggling with this, I'll talk a lot more later in the video about a main tip and kind of a mental model for keeping your front tire on the dirt. The reason I'll talk about it at the end is because the end of the trail has sandy berms that are probably the best place to practice your cornering. However, this whole trail is really good to practice your cornering. There are a lot of corners. Yeah. After the first section, there is a short climb and then you're on to the next downhill. This next downhill is probably my favorite because the jumps are a little bigger and that opens up a lot more line possibilities. You'll see shortly that I dent my rim on it though, so that's not the best, but it's all good. I'm actually running inserts now because I had to trim my rim after a heavy couple of weeks of riding. I'll keep you all updated on how I'm liking the inserts. So far, I'm really liking them, but uh, I haven't ridden anywhere too gnarly yet. I'm going to Angel Fire Bike Park soon, and that'll be a great test for the inserts.
right at the beginning. I tried to jump over one of those rocks wow. like 20 seconds in. Oh, I saw that. Be back uh, there. Oh, there. Pretty good. There is a dent in the rim. I don't know if it's from that. Yeah, it went right into that rivet. Yeah. Hey, rider back. Uh, my tire pressure is fine though, so. So before the last section, there's some alternating uphill and downhill sections. And this is where the quote, downhill only Rutabaga ride trail gets a lot of its vertical gain from. I will say, if you were to treat Rutabaga Ride like an enduro race, it would be kind of like a cross-country course. If you want to have fun on this trail, you'll probably want to take frequent breaks. You, you can pedal all the way through it, it's just a good test of your fitness if you try to really push. Oh, we have other It is, and this is sandy and burmy, if I remember. The berms are huge. You like don't have to touch the brakes. Yeah. Last section of Rutabaga Ride is fast. It has high speed sections and sandy berms. This is always a good test for your cornering technique because your front tire will wash out if you're not careful. Hello. Yeah, so just if you're not confused, they should not have been on this trail. The person in front of me, Hunter, just nicely told them that this is the downhill only trail and they should get off. The weird thing is, I don't know how they made it so far. They're at least like a mile and a half in. Doesn't make any sense. It can be really dangerous to be going up this section because you hit 20-25 miles an hour. So I mentioned I would give some tips for cornering technique. I'm not the best at cornering, but I have improved, and I can share with you what helped me improve. If you feel like your front tire is a little squirrely in corners and that you sometimes kind of plow over the berm because you can't get enough grip, that means one of two things. If you're really, really good and you're just maxing out your grip, it means you're just going too fast. However, that's very unlikely. The most likely scenario here is that you need to get your weight more over your front tire. Your front tire is where most of your cornering ability comes from, and the more weight you have over your front tire, the more grip it has. To get more weight over your front tire, you need to lean more forward. There are a lot of videos on how to do this, but what I like to do is just get a nice hinge going in my hips, kind of put my elbows in a more aggressive stance, and then try to get my chin a little above the stem. This is a super aggressive position and overkill for most riding, but overemphasizing the form is a good way to practice good form. In reality, you can't always have your chin right over your stem because you're not super stable in that position. Uh, somewhere halfway between arms fully extended and chin touching your stem is where you want to be when you're cornering. Like I said, I'm not the best rider ever. I don't pretend to be. These are just breakthroughs that I've had in my own progress as a mountain biker. Alright, so we are nearing the end of the ride and about to wrap up. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps out the channel and it costs you nothing to do. 
Anyways, I hope you have a great day. Go enjoy riding your bike. Peace.